Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this exciting tutorial. Now, I just recently downloaded a Unity 5 and I got started with their uh, 2D assets package. Now, at first I didn't understand it, but as soon as I figured it out, I was so impressed I decided to have to make a video about this right now to show you how it's done. So here presenting is 2D assets explained. Go to the new projects after downloading Unity and let's create a new project. We'll just call this project my project. Now I want to make this a 2D project and click on asset packages and now you're going to want to have your 2D assets and press done. Now let's create this project. All right, so our project has been created. Now here in our assets panel at the bottom, we can see the assets that have been included. If we open up standard assets, we can see here is our 2D. Now the most interesting stuff in 2D is all the prefabs here. A couple of the scripts too, but we'll start with prefabs. Prefabs are sort of a culmination of the stuff in a lot of other folders. So animators, animations, materials, many of these are implemented already in our prefabs. That's what a prefab is. So in the 2D package, it comes with some very cool prefabs. Let's start with Character Robot Boy. Just pick that up and drag it somewhere to the middle of your screen. All right, that's pretty cool. Now you're probably thinking, well, I'm gonna have to program this a bunch before uh, it works, right? Nope, just press the play button in Unity to see. Oh, where'd he go? He falls like that. The prefab already comes with a bunch of cool scripts. So let's see a bit more of that. Stop the game running. So all of these prefabs actually have enough scripts to make a pretty cool game. So let's implement one. Uh, just grab a platform 36 by 01 and drag it underneath your guy. Now press the play button again. Notice how the player lands on the platform. The platform is pre-configured to collide with the player. Now try controlling the player with your keyboard. As you can see, A, D, and spacebar control this hero. That's pretty cool. So we didn't have to do too much work and we already have a pretty much functional uh, game prototype. Let's add some more stuff. Now, what if we wanted the camera to follow the main character? We have some stuff for this here in our scripts folder. Notice camera 2D follow. Let's drag this script onto our main camera. Now if we click on the main camera, we notice it has a script and the script needs a target. So let's drag our character Robot Boy over to the target. That was pretty easy. Now let's give it a shot. And the camera follows our Robot Boy. Whoop, and he can fall. So as you can see, there's numerous things to play around with. You've got in the prefabs folder, some crates. We can just add those there. And a kill zone, which I only assume is something totally awesome. H kind of hard to see, but there it is. It's in green. Let's see what happens with our crate and our kill zone. All right, all right, not too bad. It seems we can push this crate. But I know what you're thinking, what happens when we hit the kill zone? Oh, the game restarts. So I'm gonna be candid, that would have probably taken me two days to code all of, which is why I made this video. I wanted anyone who might have been a little confused by the package to understand how to get started with it. Because if you're anything like me, you're gonna be making a game out of this for hours. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy making games with Unity.